So this week I tried cutting out sugar and it was awful, <laughs> but let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is my first meal and here's me explaining the challenge. So this week, um, a couple friends and I, well, one, one friend and I decided to cut out sugar for this week. So I was like, well, while we're cutting out sugar to see if it makes me feel better, why not cut out like some other things too? Or not cut out things, like add things. So I am going this week, I'm going to try for no sugar, wear sunscreen in the mornings, um, have no social media in the mornings, um, get sun in the morning for five minutes, write for 10 minutes and listen to more Christian music. I already had one no sugar meal, so that was good. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty normal. <laughs> I feel like I do normally. We started to do this because this person we were eating dinner with was like, oh yeah, like I cut out sugar for a month. And like she said, I feel great. I felt like super energetic and like super great. So I was like, I want to feel energetic. <laughs> so my friend was like, patience, we should do that. I was like, I don't know about for a month, but I bet I could do a week. So yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see if I like feel like super energetic, if I feel better. Like the sunshine in the morning is supposed to like boost your cortisol, which like makes you like happier, I guess. Um, or more energetic. No social media, that's pretty obvious. Sunscreen is supposed to like protect your skin, and I like my skin, and I want to have good skin when I'm older. <laughs> um, yeah. Writing for 10 minutes. I've been a bit on like a writing like dry area, so I want to like kind of like rejuvenate it, like make it get back in the grind, patience, fall back in love with writing and all of that stuff. Mostly Christian music. I just wanna focus more on God and like, less on like what's been going on around me. So I don't know. I don't know if that's like the most Liberty University thing to say ever, but it's true. And um, that's part of the challenge. Are all these things super sustainable? Probably not, probably not. I don't know if I'll like actually keep any of these habits after the week, but I really wanted to just be like, uh, can I do this? Yes, I can kind of deal. But, uh, hopefully this will be interesting. <laughs> we'll see. I just got up with no social media and now I'm probably going to let some light in and do some stretches since I have time for that now. It's also worth noting that like I planned my outfit of the day yesterday and that like actually helps a lot. <laughs> Instead of like having to check the weather and be like, what do I feel like wearing today? I'm like, no, I already know what I'm gonna do. So I just like pull it out and go. All right, let's let some light back into our lives. Because I didn't do any social media this morning, I actually have time to do like three minutes of stretching. So I'm just gonna do some like basic morning stretches, get the grogginess out. I'm gonna make my bed, we're gonna put on our old sunscreen, and I guess we're gonna go to class. It'll be good. So now that I have stretched in the sun, I have just enough time to fix up my hair for class, pack my little bag, put on sunscreen, and make my bed. All right, let's load up my pack here. We have my big notebook. Do I have a pencil in there? Maybe not. So we're gonna grab the pencil. Just get a notebook. My old journal, which I'm just about to finish. You should see it on that soon. Book, just in case class gets boring. And I think that's it. Great. And we're ready to go. So I just got back from the gym and accounting class. Uh, it's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting to notice the effects already. It's only been like a day and a half, but already like I'm definitely having like the withdrawal symptoms. Like I have a headache. I'm like nauseous, like, ooh, ugh. <laughs> I feel sick. Um, we went to the gym. I've been craving like any, like any excuse for sugar, like even stuff I don't normally like want my body's like given. <laughs> like I felt the urge to like drink soda, which like I don't typically do or like, I don't know. Even like 
certain kinds of chips because they have like extra sugar or whatever. And that's been uh, interesting. So I'm like flying it set, not done that. I know the gym was interesting. I did feel significantly weaker, uh, <laughs> but not significantly. I felt like weaker, but I also felt like my willpower was like on steroids. Like that was like normally where I'd be like, oh no, like I don't, <laughs> I don't want to do like another set of five. I'd be like, okay, like I'm just going to do another set of five. And I did, I did another set of five, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I definitely feel like more like irritable and like, ugh, I don't know. I don't know. I like this all up. Um, good news. These are like normal sugar withdrawal symptoms, um, but they said they'd go away in a few days or weeks, which like is kind of annoying because this only lasts for like less than a week. So I don't know. I don't know if this week is going to be like torture, but like hopefully the symptoms go away soon and I experience some benefits instead of just the losses. All right. We have a salad, some pretzels, um, sweet potato mash. Uh, Brussels sprouts, a couple of potatoes, and then we have Rice Krispie treats because <laughs> not Rice Krispie treats just Rice Krispies because I figured it was like a low sugar thing But I was also hungry. I didn't want to just like eat on veggies alone. Like man should not live on veg alone So we have this too. Hello. So it's a little bit late now. I just finished some of my work uh, As evidenced by the lighting and my pajamas But I wanted to do my quick 10 minutes of writing right before I went to bed So I guess that's work good. I'm gonna set a little timer I'm gonna write a little bit, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Even if it's only like a hundred words, it still counts because it's like writing. I'm also being an extra on a movie set today. So I have to pack a big duffel bag full of a couple outfits, including winter outfits, even though it's gonna be like 80 degrees, so I have to shoot some winter scenes, which, ooh. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna pack some outfits. G rolls for lunch. Okay, so I'm back from filming. It was a long, tiring day. <laughs> a long day, it was like five, six hours, but it was a good time. It's definitely very interesting. Why is there a wasp in my room? That's terrifying. Um, but I don't have time to rest. Uh, I have a formal tonight, so since I got really badly sunburned, I'm gonna take a cold shower to siphon out the heat, get dressed in my dress, uh, for the stuff that we need with it. I'll stop briefly by somewhere to get something for dinner. I don't know if I'll have time, but I'll grab some dinner and then we'll be good. Okay, so confession time. Uh, I went to a gala with a friend tonight. It was very formal. We dressed up and stuff, but at the um, gala, I hadn't eaten like basically all, that's not so true. I hadn't eaten like a full meal basically all day because I was basically bouncing from like class, then like three hours of class and then like the movie set. And then right after I finished the filming, I had to go like straight to the thing. So I was so hungry and they had cheesecake and I was so famished. I didn't even think about it. I was like, oh yes, cheesecake, give it here. I ate the cheesecake and I was like, oh shoot, cheesecake has sugar. So um, yeah, I guess it's not a week with fully without sugar, but um, fully without sugar except for one slice of cheesecake. <laughs> so here we are, but you know what? But you know what? That's okay. It's okay. Yep. <laughs> Those are petals. You see it? There's this pink flowering tree right outside my room. Hello, so day four, no sugar. Um, <laughs> just some general like thoughts. My mood seems to be like worse for like no reason apparently. I'm just kind of like moody and irritable I feel like. So I think, I think that's because of the sugar cut, honestly. Um, heart pain has gotten worse, but I don't get bone pain as often. So like red, like previously, like it's weird. Like I get like some random pain on like the side of like my arm, but that doesn't happen anymore. Or, like the side of my leg, but like I don't get that anymore. So that's nice, that's nice. <laughs> a little bit of a trade off there. I wonder how much of this is like side effects or like, I don't know. 
We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. It's definitely been a very interesting experiment. Acne has remained mostly stable. Um, it's helped clear up some of my, like, chin acne, which is all hormonal stuff, like, around the mouth. Uh, it's made my forehead acne worse, or maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's just because I'm wearing sunscreen now, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. So overall, like, pretty, pretty mid. Good morning, everybody. So I just woke up and it's Friday, the day that I finished the challenge, officially break the diet. Um, I don't know about concluding thoughts yet, but um, my willpower is completely shot. Like I don't have any motivation to do anything this morning, which is like weird. I still feel like spacey and like, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm definitely bloating a lot too, which is like not ideal. I don't know, I definitely came into this challenge with a very, like, optimistic feel. I was like, oh man, it's gonna be great, like, you know, this is gonna have so many health benefits. But, it didn't, you know what I mean? Like, almost every impact I saw to my health was negative. I mean, I lost weight, but that wasn't really one of my goals. I didn't feel better, I wasn't, like, more motivated or, like, helped in any way. I just feel like cutting sugar made everything so much worse. So, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe if you were to cut sugar for a longer period of time, like a month or so, maybe it would be better and you just have to like push past the first like week and a half or something, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. From this week, I definitely would not recommend cutting sugar for a week. Absolutely not. Last night I dreamed of an ice cream cone to give you an idea of like how the cravings are. So like, the cravings are bad and all the side effects from a week are just negative and no positive. So unless you're planning on doing this like long term, I definitely would not recommend doing this for a week. All right, that said, I'm gonna do some work and then today at lunchtime, I hope they're serving ice cream cones. We're gonna get some dessert. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> The weird thing about eating ice cream now is I still crave it, but it tastes like really sweet. Like, I don't know. I don't know that this ice cream and I are reviving. I don't know if I'll finish the whole thing. Cause like, I don't know, it kind of stinks. So like, I've also lost my like ability to appreciate ice cream now. Uh, I don't know. We'll see, maybe it'll come back. Anyway, I suffered for a week and the conclusion is that I will not be doing this again. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and maybe share it with a friend. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace. Hello, here's a fun fact, uh, behind the scenes, if you will. Um, this day, this is the day that like I finished the challenge. Um, I, I ate ice cream and then I literally fell down the stairs on my way to accounting class and I think my foot might be broken. So I'm here in the hospital now waiting for the x-ray machine to recharge or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely not because of no sugar, but like, <laughs> That whole no sugar week, I felt cursed and like, I guess it continues. I don't know. Man, all this to say, I'm gonna eat sugar. <laughs>